Okay, took a few hours, but now it's uh, now it's going to be continued. So when we left off, uh, she backed into my car, and uh, and she wanted to leave. She was like, you know, nice hey, ship. Gas, wash him back. let me go. Gas, wash him back. And I'm like, I can't let you go, you know. And she's like, you're blocking me in. I'm like, you hit my car, you know. I can't just let you walk away. Uh, I'm not paying for your damage. Um, so I call the police. And at this point, she decides not to leave, whatever. Um, and the same cop from before shows up. Uh, and he, like, you can see it in his face. He's like, I do not want to be here. He's all pissed. Um... And he's like, y'all are killing me. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I was like, we did it on purpose, you know. It was an accident. Uh, and then she goes, he's blocking me in. He won't let me leave. He blocked me in, you know. And, and I you know, I didn't know he was there, and that's why I hit him, and blah, blah, blah. And the cop's like, you blocked her in? I'm like, after she hit me, yeah. And he's like, you know, I can give you a ticket for that. I'm like, for what? You know? And then he's like, don't talk to me right now. I'm like, all right, you know what? He's pissed. I ain't going to say shit. I'll wait until, you know, he does the, he'll ask me for, you know, for my version of the story. And that's when I'll explain to him, you know, I only told her she couldn't leave after she hit me, whatever. So he gets the you know, information, he gets my information, gets her information, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, and then, uh, um, one of the other drivers comes by and takes pictures of the damage, which there's, I mean, there's a dent on the, on the quarter panel and needs a new quarter panel. It's not even like ruined. It's just, they, it'll look bad if you try to bang it out, whatever. So... Uh, while well, the other driver's there, the cop comes over and he's like, I'm not citing her. She didn't do anything wrong. I'm still considering citing you. And I'm like, dude, what? And I mean, I don't need to have this conversation in front of other people. So like, I didn't say anything, whatever. Uh, and then, so he goes and he starts doing all this stuff. And then the door pops open and manager comes back out of the club. He goes, officer, glad you're here. We just had an assault inside the club. I'm like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Somebody bit a dancer while she was on stage. Cannibal style. She was like laying on the side of the stage talking to some customers and this dude just like walks up to him, spreads the two customers apart, leans in and just bites her right on the stomach. Hard enough to leave teeth marks. What the fuck is up with tonight? Anyway, so... So she wants to press charges. So I'm sitting there and I'm watching, and the manager brings out this dude who is so drunk that at first I thought he was walking a blind guy out before he went back and bought, you know, brought out the, the, the biter. Because he's like holding him by the hand like you, like you would guide someone who was blind and didn't, have, didn't know where they were going. And I'm like, holy shit, that guy's just drunk as fuck. <laughs> so they bring him over and like the cop's like trying to talk to him and like he has no idea. He shouldn't even be conscious. Um, and then the dancer comes out, she got dressed and comes out, and she's like, no, that's not the right guy, it was his brother. And so the cop's like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. And so they go back in and they find the brother, the actual biter. They bring him out, and, like, he's all, like, just talking to him, blah, 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 nothing's going on. And as soon as he sees the cop, he's like, no, man, oh, no, and, like, starts fucking crying. And then starts screaming, I'm a nurse, I work in the ER. And I'm like, not anymore, you don't, crazy biter, Hannibal Lecter freak. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, my brother, and like takes his, grabs his brother and like pulls his brother away from the cop, and then grabs the cop and like shoves the cop. Well, guess who got slammed face first onto the trunk of the cop car immediately after that? If you thought the drunk guy, you get yourself a gold star. Fucking idiot. Then he's screaming, and he's been handcuffed, and he's like, oh, it hurts, it hurts, and he's resisting, he's fighting back the entire time. We're all just sitting there going, holy shit, this escalated fast. You know, another cop starts showing up, and they got it on camera. Some cop had, like, a body camera thing. He's, like, a cyborg. Uh, <laughs> just comedy of shit. And, like, holy fuck. So he's losing his mind. And the cop then comes to us, the original cop, who's, like, didn't want to be there in the first place. Now he's furious. Uh, he's, like, yeah, you guys are going to have to wait. We're not going to get to you until I'm done with this. It took two hours after she hit me before I was able to finally leave. She didn't get a ticket. I didn't get a ticket. You can finally listen to my set of the story. I didn't get a ticket. I have to wait a couple days to pick up the thing. But, you know, without their information, the boss is going to try to make me pay for the damage, which that ain't going to happen. Uh, and uh, uh, the guy who was continuously resisting arrest when they brought the paddy wagon and put him in it and they tried to change handcuffs, he tried to get away. Like, he's, like, ripping his arm free and, like, four cops just tackle his ass, throw him in the back of the paddy wagon. What an idiot. So... 
yeah, a lot of fun. And then later on tonight, right before uh, I made this video, uh, I had a guy nearly get fucking creamed by a car going about mm, 60 over the speed limit. The speed limit was only 35. Uh, he's just walking across the street, walking towards me and another driver, you know, and just not even paying attention to the other car. He's just come screaming down this road for no reason. And I'm like, dude, 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 move, move, move. You know, the very last second, the guy hops. And just at that same moment, the car swerved. If the guy hadn't hopped or the car hadn't swerved, they had to have done both. The only way to avoid this guy just being completely just painting the road red. And, of course, he would have been thrown right into me and the other driver. I mean, we would have all been messed up. He would have been dead, and we would both have been really messed up. I mentioned scarred for life because I have dumb drunk guys smattered all over my body. So. Tonight, tonight sucked.